Hello again, YouTube. Quick video right here. I, I want to get this out the way I was while I'm thinking about it. These people love driving on the side of people. So, what I want to talk about, I'm going to talk a little bit about sex on here. And I want to compare it. Now, I'm talking to grown men and about grown men right now. And what I want to talk about is how sex for some people is high priority and for other people is first priority. Neither one of these should be the case. Neither one should be the case. When you're a grown man, I don't care if you ain't got none yet, it still shouldn't mean that much to you because there's other things that a grown man can do. And y'all know we talk about that sometimes on this channel. But any grown man that you think, because you, let's say you want to, like, one of us guys that is more endowed, still shouldn't be that high of a priority. You seeking validation. That's what it is. You get high, practically, off the oohs and ahs and the congratulationary behavior from women over your sex. You gonna catch, you gonna, you gonna catch it one day. You either gonna catch that child support smoke, you gonna catch that alimony smoke, or you gonna catch both. But if sex is first priority for you, or high priority, your priorities ain't in order, and something wrong with you, you immature, docile, you don't have no goals, you're not ambitious. Because if you was ambitious, it wouldn't be high priority. You're, you're, that's, it'll be something you do in leisure. If you ambitious, if you properly ambitious, it's not going to be that high of a priority. Whereas first priority, a high priority. Where you spend more time, some dudes spend more time trying to bust their next nut. Get all in the next woman pants and mouth and stuff like that than they do working. Equals pookie. So, y'all need to stop seeking validation. Should no woman, and, and a lot of these guys, they seek validation because. We just heard the dude with the white socks hat say, you ain't a man until a woman say so. That's the type of stuff I'm talking about. Right there. Your priorities, if you have a list of priorities, that shouldn't even be in the top five because there's so many aspects to life and so many things in life that that shouldn't even be in your top five. You want me to show you? you got the most high. You got your physical health. You got your money. You got your mental health. And you got your friends. If you have any. A lot of us don't got none. But, but you also have things like your siblings. If you're close, like I told y'all, if you're close to your brother, you never let no woman come in between that. You close to your brother, no woman should come in between that. They should be off limits. Your brother, woman should be off limits to you. Your women should be off limits to your brother. If you don't move away from them, y'all got it. We got to get this right, man. We got to get this right, man. We're going to talk about that a little more like Tuesday, but we got to get these priorities right, man. Thug life should be out the window, shouldn't Ain't no thug life. Unless you want to die or go to prison, you're going to have to throw that out the window. Just like I did. I'm telling you, man. So, I just wanted to talk about that briefly. If that's your priorities, man. Your priorities is out of whack. And you whack. <laughs>